to print organs, what we do is we actually three-dimensionally configure what the patient's organ should be like. We then use that information uh, to feed into a computer that will actually generate a path for printing. It's like printing a 50-page document, but each layer is actually a layer of cells instead of a sheet of paper. We use many different strategies, really, to try to create solid organs. And one of them is actually to just uh, create the organ one layer at a time. Another st uh, strategy is to actually uh, take a donor organ that we take the cells out of and we can repopulate it with the patient's own cells. And another strategy is actually to just print the organ. And that's actually what we show today, is how can we actually use printers that will print these organs one layer at a time. All of these technologies uh, actually involve using the patient's own cells. So we take a piece of tissue from the same patient usually less than half the size of a postage stamp. We then tease the cells apart from the same patient. We expand those cells outside the body in large quantities, and we can then place those cells back into the patient once we engineer the organ. We are still very early uh, in this work in terms of printing organs. We've actually uh, have done some preclinical work uh, with these printed organs, but someday we will be able to do this in patients and help alleviate some of the challenges we have today with organ shortage.